How about a tiny little antenna that gives no compromise performance on either 20 meters, 17 meters, or 15 meters? Well, this is what I've got here. Let's take a quick look. Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. You know, a while back, my friend Tim Ortiz, N9SAB, over at Aetherwave Antennas, sent me something. I, I actually requested a special request from him for a dipole, a linked dipole, which would work on 20 meters, 17 meters, and 15 meters. I figured this sort of combination would be really useful in a situation where maybe the sunspot is the sunspot cycle isn't at its peak, uh, but still we got a little bit of activity on those bands. And of course, being a full dipole, what this means is that you're not dealing with a compromise antenna. You put a little bit of height on something like this, and because we're talking about the higher HF bands, that height doesn't have to be really high. Uh, you can do some really good stuff with an antenna like this. So let's take a closer look at this antenna. Here is the feed point for the antenna. This is, uh, of course, it's just a dipole. Tim has got this one set up at my request. And, and by the way, so Tim custom built this for me. Uh, this will accommodate up to 25 watts single sideband. If you reach out to Tim and you like the idea of an antenna like this, Tim customizes. So you can ask him for a 100 watt version of it. Or if you say, hey, Tim, uh, I, I want to run digital and I want to run 100 watts, he can work with you on stuff like that too. I'm only a single sideband operator and a lot of the times I'm running QRP, so something like this is absolutely perfect for what I do. Another thing Tim will do on his antennas, you can see this red cap on here, uh, he's put an SO239 on for me because I'm standardized on PL259s for my cables. He'll happily put a BNC on for you if you choose. Now, let's take a look at the end of this unit, which is, you know, the base component being a 15 meter dipole with links for either 17 meters or 20 meters which do, of course, extend the dipole radiators out to the necessary length to allow the antenna to work as a dipole on those bands. Taking a look at what he's got on the end of the 15 meter, what you see is a carabiner. Now, this carabiner will clip onto the extension if you're using it. He's also got a bullet connector. Now this is all very well weatherproofed and I'd like to make a quick note about this. Tim's antennas are rated for extreme weather. They are very rugged, very durable, extremely waterproof. So you don't have to worry about setting something like this up outdoors and experiencing an issue. Even the flies like this antenna apparently. Okay, I just want to show you how the connection works with this antenna. So here I have the antenna coming from the 15 meter, sorry, the connection coming from the 15 meter dipole. And here is the one uh, from the extension. So this extension is for 20 meters that I'm holding in my hand. All right, so now what I want to do is just, oh, by the way, when Tim sends these across, he will also put a label on the extension showing you what band that extension is for. So there you saw the 20M for 20 meters. So to attach, all I'm going to do is clip together the two carabiners and then insert the bullet. The bullet is a very serious connection. It's a solid connection. But what, of course, those carabiners do is as pressure is applied on the radials, uh, sorry, the radiators, when it gets tightened up during installation, there is no pressure on the connection there. It is on the carabiners, and these are all very well weather sealed through here. So the connection is going to remain good for a long time. And the rig I'll be using for today's testing of the 2017 uh, 15 meter dipole is my Icon IC705. 
I'm using the internal battery pack and will only be running it at 5 watts. And, and why do I do that when I'm testing an antenna? Well, I figure if I can make contacts with QRP, you can imagine what your results would be if you're running higher power. So with all that said, I'm going to get the antenna up on top of a 40 foot spider beam mast and uh, let, let's see if I can make some contacts. Kilo, Kilo 5, Tango, Yankee. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Uh, VE 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike, uh, 59 Smith County, Sierra Mike, Italy, Tango. QSL, please copy a 59 in Ontario. Uh, thanks, Kilo, Kilo 5, Tango, Yankee. All right, I can take one more because we had a fourth operator. We didn't want to activate, so last one. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Okay, I heard a uh, poor Victor Echo out there in the weeds. Go ahead. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. You are 4-1 into park. <laughs> US 12084, QSL? QSL, I got you in here at a 5 and 7. Thanks for the contact. Thanks for the activation. Is that crazy? It is. It is indeed. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Is that Tracy? QSL, QSL. Stand by one. QSL. All right, Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike, Kilo, 8, Mike, Romeo, Delta. What's going on, Tracy? Hey, Mike, what the heck? How are you doing, man? Ah, not so bad. Just visiting <laughs> some friends in St. Louis. We're uh, on top of a nuclear waste dump doing a parks on the air activation. <laughs> what better place could there possibly be? Got to add easily six to nine dB. <laughs> Absolutely, and then the, the the lingering effects are going to go on for a bit. Hey, it's nice to make a chat with you, Mike. Roger, we're hoping so, man. Thanks, Tracy. Seventy-three uh, kilo eight micro delta in the gang. We are QRT. We'll be on the air at uh, a couple more parks here shortly. So look for the spots. K and MRE and the gang are QRT seventy-three. Well, there you have it. The Aetherwave antennas twenty seventeen. 15 link dipole, a test, a field test with my ICOM 705. Remember, I was only running five watts there and uh, making contacts, uh, no problem at all. So I like it. I like it a lot. If you want the performance of a full size dipole and don't mind having to manually add links for the other bands, this is a nice compact solution for that application. By the way, Tim over at Aetherwave Antennas, N9SAB, he does do custom work. So if you're thinking about an antenna like this that isn't exactly like it, reach out to Tim. He'll work with you. He's a great guy. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack. Get outdoors and get on the air. 7-3 from Tracy, VE3TWM. Oh, and by the way, if you like my videos, please thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share really helps my channel. Take care, everyone.